Okay, I understand that Democrats are upset, and I get why you're upset. I'm also not very happy that Amy Coney Barrett is on the Supreme Court. Her confirmation is illegitimate, but that's not even here nor there. As a matter of fact, the truth is, what we have to understand right now is we can't cry over spilled milk. We got to keep moving. The milk is already spilled. There's nothing you can do about the past. You can't change the past. The words I just said a few seconds ago, I can't change them. They've already been said. That's how we have to look at life right now. The most important thing right now is this election that's coming up in a week from today. Today's Tuesday now. A week from today, there's going to be an election, and that's what we need to be focusing on. Don't lose a minute of sleep over this because there's nothing you can do about it. You need to be focused on the things you can do something about. What we need to do is make sure that we get people to vote in such large numbers that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris win. Their numbers, it's such a landslide that it's obscene. These are the kind of numbers people have never seen before. One thing you have to understand about Republicans is that while Democrats sit there and we're very emotional people, Democrats are, I mean, Republicans are devilishly strategic. They don't care about you. They don't care about humanity. They don't care. They have no empathy. They have no sympathy. You know, they don't care whether you have any food on the table. They don't care whether or not you can pay your rent. They don't care if COVID is is hindering your life. They don't care whether your retirement benefits are kicking in or they're not kicking in. They don't care about those kind of things. All they care about is power and winning. That's all they care about. And they have these smug smiles on their face, but they're not going to be very smug when the next week comes around as long as we do our part. And the reason why they rammed her through right now is because they don't think Trump is going to win. If you think Trump's going to win, then there's no reason to do this right now. As a matter of fact, if you were smart and strategic and you thought Trump was going to win, you use that as the grounds for why people needed to vote for him and come on vote for him because he's going to be filling that next seat. You already filled it. So what exactly are we voting for you for? You don't offer anything else. And there's not going to be another Supreme Court justice seat coming up unless somebody dies uh, arbitrarily. And if there is, it's going to be a Republican that's going to be coming out of that seat most likely. The Democrats aren't going to be the ones that are going to be losing the seat. So the thing is, at the end of the day, you made this decision. It was a miscalculation. We didn't miscalculate this. You miscalculated it. You're going to have to face the music for what you just did. And believe me, it's going to be us that determine the song that's going to get played. You might have won this little battle you think you won right now, but you're not going to win the war. And at the end of the day, when we have all three branches of government, good luck to the Supreme Court. Good luck. And I'm not going to say anything about stacking the court right now because that doesn't even matter. The most important thing, we have to keep our eyes on the prize right now. The eyes, our eyes have to be focused on getting as many people as possible, including ourselves and everybody we can possibly think of and even people we don't know to make sure they go and vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. And then we need to make sure that we win the Senate and we also um, keep, um, retain the House. If we do those things, oh, we'll, we'll see who's laughing at the end of the day. I mean, obviously, you guys have this guy at the top of the ticket. Do you think Trump would have really been fighting to put Amy Coney Barrett on the, on, um, the Supreme Court if he realized that he's going to lose? The only reason why you put him there is because she's supposed to be the puppet that's supposed to help him if there's some kind of dispute in, in terms of the election. That's not going to work when you lose in a landslide. We need to give them a mandate, um, Biden and Kamala, so they can go in there and they can do things that can actually help the American public. Whether the Republicans like it or not, they're in there doing things, making moves, whether the Republicans want to come to the table or not. They don't think Democrats belong at the table right now. You won't be at the table at all for at least two years if we win this next election. So that's where our minds should be right now. Should not be focusing on whether or not <clears throat> this was wrong or this was right. We already know how the Republicans operate. What we need to learn is how to play the same game. See, it's very difficult to win a game if you don't even know how to play it. Very difficult. When you're dealing with people who are soulless and you have a soul, it's very difficult to compete. But the thing is, I'm not saying that we have to become soulless. I'm just saying we have to understand how soulless people operate and then beat them at their own game. And the best way to beat them right now and to win the actual war, which is the election, is to win the election. Don't get complacent right now. Don't get into your feelings. Don't get depressed. Don't get distracted. Just focus your eyes on the prize. The goal at the end is to make sure that we get this mandate for Biden and Kamala so that we can change the trajectory of this country and get rid of this fraud, this autocrat that's in the White House. That's what we need to be focusing on right now. That should be the only thing that's motivating us right now. Those are things we actually can control. And if we do that, we give them this mandate. You think the Supreme Court is going to be doing all kinds of partisan ideologue type stuff with with this mandate that they have? They're not going to do it because the American public is not going to be on their side. So the thing is, if we want to be able to take back any kind of control of our own country, then we need to do this now. Starting The voting has already started. The election has already started. People are already voting. We need to make sure that we go out there and vote in numbers that it's, I'm telling you, it has to be so obscene, the, the, the margin between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. It has to be obscene. If we do that, then what are we worrying about right now? What are we worrying about? Because at that point, when we have the power, we're going to make sure that we do things that protect us from all the nonsense we're going to find from these ideologues on the Supreme Court before they become obsolete. 
So I'm not going to sit here and cry over spilled milk. There's no way you're going to get me to do that. I'm not going to sit there and let Republicans be laughing and smiling and saying, no. <laughs> I don't care what they're, what they're thinking right now. I know exactly how to wipe that smile off your face. And that's what I'm going to be focusing on. And that's what all of us need to be focusing on. Stop being depressed. This was not strategic what they did. It was a miscalculation. If you were smart, you want to get more people to vote for you. You should have waited until after the election, giving people a reason to vote for you. Now what are people voting for Trump for? There's nothing to vote for him for. He's an abject failure. So what exactly people vote for him for? So he can get more people killed? Is that what you guys think we're going to do? He has no agenda for the second term. You at least could have had that if you guys were going to go in, for, go in um, to this next election and say, you have to vote for me so I can get the next Supreme Court justice. You didn't even do that. You made a mistake. And you, you gave people literally all this time to digest what you just did and then get out there and vote against you for what you just did. It wasn't strategic at all. So don't feel badly about it. They think that they did something that now they have all this power. You're going to be literally have an obsolete Supreme Court after this next election. So good luck. Congratulations. Bravo to you. But what you just did was a huge mistake. We're going to go out and vote in such large numbers that you guys are going to wish you could reverse that decision and it's just going to be too late. So stop crying. Stop being upset. I know how we are as Democrats. We're so emotional. Stop it. We still have so much power and we have seven days to get it together. Let's get it together. And let's make sure that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, they're the ones sitting there making decisions. And Donald Trump is sitting there packing up his bags and trying to get a lawyer to make sure he's not indicted by the time he gets out of there. That's where we need to be. Forget the fraud in the White House. Forget the fraudulent Republicans and worry about yourself. And the one thing that's going to help you right now is getting rid of the fraud in the White House.